Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Today I have a DT project to share with you guys. It is a T card holder um, and I'm going to share that project with you in just a moment. Before I do though, I have a few announcements I want to share with you guys about Diamond Dice. First of all, in case you have not heard yet, Diamond Dice is having a monthly giveaway and all you have to do is create one project using a Diamond Die that you have purchased. Um, create anything you want and you can either take a picture of your project and post it on the Diamond Dice Facebook page or you may make a video and link it to the Diamond Dice YouTube channel and I will have all the links or every link in the description box below. Uh, the YouTube channel, Facebook page, and the store. Um, yeah, so all you have to do is make a project, take a picture, and at the end of every month, Diamond Dice will give you a $10 gift certificate if you are chosen um, just for entering your projects. We also have another event going on every month, which is our monthly um, card exchange swap and it's a secret card exchange swap what you're going to do is you're going to first sign up for the event on the Diamond Dice Facebook page then when you sign up uh, about a week or two after sign up D will give you the name of your secret swap partner you will create a card for this partner and you will mail it out to them it's a secret they will not know once everyone has their cards then D will do a reveal on her Facebook page where everyone gets to see everyone's projects. If you want to make a video, you can load it at that time. At the end of the month, D will pick a winner and that winner will win a $15 gift certificate towards the Diamond Dice store. So in both cases, you get to win something. And what I love about this monthly secret card swap is that even if you don't win, the $15 gift certificate at least you get a card and you make new friends and I think that's just awesome um, especially when it's a secret <laughs> and who doesn't love cards right now I personally love to leave my cards blank I, I will write a note on a little post-it note but I like for the person who's receiving the card to choose what they want to do with the card they can either use it and pass it along or keep it for themselves for when they you know, for whatever they want, if they want to use it at some point or if they want to just keep it as a keepsake, totally up to them. So let me share with you the dies that I used. Oh yeah, also, I just want to remind you guys that if you choose to buy any of these dies over at the Diamond Die Store and use my coupon code, thanks Laura, you will receive an additional 10% off your total purchase. Um, so that means even bundle packages, items that are on sale, whatever, use the coupon code thanks Laura and you will get an additional 10% off. Also, any orders that are over $35 or more will ship for free. And that's both for US and international. So some of the dies that I used on um, my project are the, and this is part of our latest release over at Diamond Dies. And this is the nesting oval set. And as you can see, these ovals are very large. Very, very large. Now with the other die companies out there, if you were to buy a nesting set, and I'm sorry to say this guys, cause you know this is true. That's as big as you're getting. This one measures four and a half by, I think it's three and a quarter, this size. And as you guys know, you don't really get more than five inches with most dies. Well, not with diamond dies, guys. Look at that. The biggest die, first of all, you get a lot more dies for the nesting sets. Um, and they are basically this price the same as your other die companies out there, but you get a lot more bang for your buck for the simple reason is the dies, you get a lot more dies. Um, with this set, you get eight dies. Most of the other die companies only offer four or five dies, and it's a lot bigger. But they are compatible with all die cutting machines because the width is five and a half, but the length is a lot longer. So you'll have seven and a half inches in length and five and a half inches wide. So they will go right through your big shot, your bit sidekick, your vagabond, 
any any die cutting cuddle bug you name it it will definitely it's compatible with all of them i myself have a big shot so yes it does work and then we have our scalloped oval die like i said guys look at this this is two of my hands two of my hands do you see how ginormous this is imagine making a mini album out of this and yes they do cut through chipboard they cut through vinyl they cut through burlap um any other light materials and if you use a shim even better i also use the newly released teacup the little tiny um teapot i'm sorry not teacup teapot i also use my small kitchen utensils die set as well as one of the oldies but goodies my labels one nesting set also from diamond dies and all these dies are available at um to purchase at the diamond dice store so let me share with you what I created. Um, and this was inspired by Tracy Loves to Scrap. I am going to leave a link to her tutorial for this project in my description box below. However, if you guys would like to see the actual process of how I made this particular um, project, I can do that for you. Just leave me a request either in the comments below or PM me asking me, that you would like to see that tutorial. Um, I don't usually do tutorials if it's someone else's creations. However, I will do it upon request to share with you how I did mine. Um, so, yeah. So, to start with, I used some papers from the Paper Studio, which I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, the base for this card tea holders is uh, craft cardstock by Recollections. And as you can see, I used also some red cardstock. So we have several layers, guys. And um, I love to make my projects extremely sturdy, which is why I chose to use so many layers. Now, this paper from Paper Studio, as gorgeous as it is, it is not cardstock, it is not very thick. And that's why I did the extra layers of papers. Plus, I think it looks really, really cute. Um, I did use some flat back pearls. Here, this here is also from Diamond Dyes. It is the circle nesting set and it is the scallop circle nesting set. Um, here is where I use my little teapot die. I have some bling going across the top of the teapot and a little bling over here in the center. This little stamp cup of cheer. I, this is actually my white. Um, I actually embossed this with white embossing powder. And I used the opaque white. And then I fussy cut this little tea bag here. This was from my Darcy stamp set. And over here is where I use those nestle, nesting label sets. Um, and especially for you, that's from the Scrapping Mommies stamp set. And then over here, I have one of the diamond dye spoons, more flat back pearls, and lots of laces. I also use liquid pearls um, all throughout the book as well. And that's what you see here um, on the um, scallops here and on the nesting label set. And then here, I have a little ribbon, which I did attach underneath the papers to close my little tea book or tea card. Um, this was the first one I made and I'm going <laughs> to tell you right now, I did a boo-boo. <laughs> I got, um, overly excited with decorating and I overly zealous and I forgot to leave an area to write a note for the recipient of my little tea card. So, um, I'm going to have to use a little post-it note and that's because I decided to put this quote in there instead and as you can see this is where I use my nesting labels I mean my nesting ovals and my nesting scallop ovals dies also from diamond dies I added a little bow and the poem reads come and share a pot of tea my home is warm and my friendships free and that's by Emily Barnes um, these are all from stamps that I fussy cut and I added the perfect pearls I colored them in with my Tim Holtz distress inks here are more of those diamond dye spoons and up here as well did the same thing just some fussy cutting perfect pearls 
um, Tim Holtz inks. And the teacups are also part of the Darcy um, tea stamp set that I used. Here I did the same thing, spoon, tea bag, teacup, cupcake, and the little teapot from Diamond Dyes. And this is what I love, guys. These actually hold three pockets for three tea bags. Um, what I love about this is that, and I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, um, sometimes I'll be uh, going to a doctor's appointment or I'll go on a road trip with my husband or even maybe sometimes even just to a friend's house. And everybody always has hot water, but sometimes people don't always carry um, the teas that I like to drink or maybe they're not even tea drinkers. Um, I just love this because this is a nice way. Not only is it a nice little gift to give someone, but it's for the recipient, it's a nice way to actually carry your tea bags. I think it's just a pretty cute way to carry some tea bags. And this can very easily go into an overnight bag, a pocketbook, a satchel, a book bag, whatever it is where you carry your stuff. If you're going on a day trip, a road trip, I know sometimes I go on my doctor's appointments and I can spend five and six hours out there and I am so dying for a cup of tea and no one, everyone has hot water, but no one ever has tea bags. So this is a nice way to keep a few of them available, maybe in the car, um, whatever, just some ideas. Now, of course, I couldn't stop just making the one. I had to go and make more. And of course, you guys know I'm on a Tilda Magnolia kick. So yes, I had to make one with a Tilda <laughs> Magnolia. So this is the one I made. Again, same concept as the other, only the front is a little different. I have my little Tilda doll image, which I have a little flatback pearl in her little hair. I colored her in with my um, pro markers. And these little hearts and teacups, these are little stickers that I had in my stash from a very old sticker set. I have these little, um, I'm not even sure what these are called, but they're like flatback pearls. Then I have a little um, Wild Orchids Craft Rose here. Here I have some flatback pearls, some of the paper, and this lace here, this was given to me by my dear sweet friend Bridget, who's BS Alter Designs. Thank you so much, Bridget, for that lace. And then over here is where I use my Diamond Dice Labels um, die set. This flower I made using my Diamond Dice um, Realistic Rose set. This flower I made using my Diamond Dice Sugar Plum set. This is my Diamond Dice Monarch Butterfly. And this is the small one. And then of course I have just lots of sprays. And then I have these little ribbon roses. And that's what that looks like there. And the You're My Cup of Tea, this comes from the Scrap and Mommy stamp set. And then on the inside, I did do this one a little bit differently. <laughs> I did not forget this time. Um, I decided to change the um, original design, which was uh, Tracy's design. And I tweaked this one and made it a little bit more my own. Um, here I have a little, this is the Diamond Dies um, oval and scalloped oval die set. And this is where I will write or stamp out a message to my recipient of this particular um, tea card set. And then here I made a little pouch and I also have a diamond dice flower that I created using my diamond dice realistic rose set. Have some flat pack pearls, again, some sprays, some white um, satin leaves and this little white satin flower under here, this is from Prima. And then the lace again that my friend Bridget has sent to me and a rack. Um, this here now, I can either put a tag and write a sentiment and then stamp out a sentiment if I don't want to write it here. I have options now. Also, I can gift a few little teapots 
or any other little goodies I want. And when the recipient gets this and takes out the goodies, if you're going to use this as a traveling um, tea bag holder, you can actually put some sugar. Um, if you're on a special diet and you're a diabetic and you use only sweet and low, you can put them in here for you if you're going to travel or um, just, you know, anything, any, any extra sugar bags, even a little plastic spoon, <laughs> whatever you want to put in there. And now I have a place where I can send a message or stamp out a message, whichever one I want, or write out a message. Then on this side, I did do it a little bit differently. I did not put all the layers that I did with my previous one. Um, this time I just used some flat back pearls and that um, beautiful, beautiful trim. Um, I put three different kinds of tea bags in this one, and this is going to a friend. And then um, for this one, I used the Diamond Dice teapot and the Diamond Dice small monarch butterfly on the teapot. So that's this one, and that's how that one came out. And I don't know if I may have mentioned this already, guys, because I am not having such a great day with my sleep today, so I'm a little zonky. I'm, I think I'm repeating myself excessively here, but if you guys, if I did say this before already, I am so sorry, I beg your pardon. But if I didn't, and you guys do want to see um, me construct one of these or do a tutorial on them, just leave the request in the comments or PM me and I will be more than happy to do that for you. And yes, I used another Tilda Magnolia image and I made another little, um, I don't even know what to call these, teapot, tea, tea bag card holder? <laughs> yeah, tea bag card holder. That sounds good. <laughs> um, for this one, again, I used the Mariposa Papers. Um, from die cuts with a view that I've had in my stash forever. Um, I went with those papers because they are so strong and they're a nice, good, heavy cardstock. And believe me, this this goes in a bag or in a pouch. This is not getting bent easily at all. So for this particular piece, again, I use um, some trim and this trim. I believe Tina Kappa sent to me. Thank you so much, Tina. She was a sweetheart. She had some extra trims and I don't have the small, tiny little laces. I had ran out. She was so kind to send some from, um, so from some, from her stash that she, um, was lucky enough to find, um, at a thrift store. And I love it. I love it. So these little hearts, these are all little hearts that I punched out with my diamond dies. Um, one of the cloud sets came with the little hearts, and that's what that is. Here is my little Tilda image that I colored in with, oh yes guys, and I finally broke down. I did buy some Copics um, in pink, and I decided to try them out, and... Um, I'm in love. <laughs> I didn't want to be in love with the Copics, but I am. I am still going to use my Pro markers until they all dry out and have to be replaced. But I am going to start investing in a few more of the Copics. I love the um, the Copics for the hair a lot, lot more than what I've been using. So, yeah, so the little image, I fussy cut her. I did color her in with my Pro markers, and I also colored her in with my Copics. Uh, the dress, the teapot, and the cookies I used with my Pro markers, and uh, I mean the apron, and that, that was my Pro markers. And then the dress, the skin, and the hair was all with my Copics. Um, I also added some little flowers here that I made with my diamond dye dies. And here's my diamond dies label set. Again, the same stamp set, more trim, more little diamond dye flowers. And the inside, um, almost the same. A little spot here for some 
message or for some stamping more than likely it will have to be a handwritten message because i put some flat back pearls here and unless the stamp is very tiny it might not stamp down now <laughs> um, again i can also put a tag or a little note um, in this little pocket here that i created and here are some more teapot die cuts that i am going to send along with my tea bags to um, a friend in this corner here I added some bling I added some lace trims and I added some diamond dye flowers that I made as well as some leaves some sprays some pearls and this flower here is a little applique piece that I had left over from one of my appliques this flower here is a prima flower diamond dyes diamond dies and then this one right here is also a prima flower I added some flat pack pearls that I have from my stash and these sprays are also from my stash and then over here on this side I have my three little pockets on my pockets I put my little heart flat pack pearl um, resin pieces and I really do love those little hearts aren't they cute and then over here I have some bling, some more bling, and this is a little teapot service die that I have in my stash. And that's this one. And again, to, to, to secure my teapot card holder, I just added this ribbon. And I really, really think this is such a sweet, sweet little gift to send someone, guys. I am so in love with making these. <laughs> um, like I told my girlfriend, Jackie, I can never make one. I have to make one to ten, more than one, no less than ten, and then I'm done and I move on to the next project. So those are my teapot card holder well my tea bag card holders um thank you so very much for watching and spending the time with me um like i said if you are interested in any of the dies that i use to create this project please head on over to the diamond dies um, store at diamonddies.com and don't forget to use my coupon code thanks laura for an additional 10 percent off all the information you need I will leave in my description box below and all the links you need will also be there as well. I hope you all have a blessed day today and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.